okay uh, now discuss this next problem so this is again from aldehyde ketone so this problem says the mirvan mirvin ponder of early reaction involves reduction of a ketone by treatment with excess aluminium triisopyr propoxide so what we have we have been given one ketone so this is my ketone so let me write here so i have a ketone and this ketone if treated with first ch3 hold twice ch o3 ch3 hold twice ch o and then you have hold 3 ch o and then hold 3 aluminum <coughs> and this is further treated with h3o plus so finally we will get oh h plus ch3co ch3 now if you want you can write the structure of this compound so what you have o c h and then you have ch3 ch3 and then you have aluminum and now the same thing one two more times so this group is attached here so you have aluminum o c h 3 c h 3 h and this same group is attached here and this position so this is same so i am writing this valence so open you have to understand this the same thing i am writing two times now this says if you have a ketone ketone can be converted into alcohol by this reagent and this reagent is called aluminum triisopropoxide so this is so let me write the name this reagent is called aluminum slightly difficult to remember no need to even remember aluminum triisopropoxide isopropoxide the mechanism of the process is closely related to kanin-jaro reaction so this question also says mechanism this reaction is related to kanin-jaro reaction did you remember in kanin-jaro reaction what happens in kanin-jaro reaction there is a hydride shift so this also says related to kanin-jaro reaction in that there is a hydride ion acts as a leaving group so in this case also a hydride ion that is h minus acts as a leaving group acts as a leaving group so h minus is acting as a leaving group so you have to propose the mechanism for this reaction so let us write so you have to propose the mechanism you see you have a ketone here can you try just try you see in this case we have an aluminum aluminum can act as a lewis acid oxygen has electron pair so it can act as a uh, nucleophile so it can act as a nucleophile and this can act as a electrophile so this oxygen will attack on this aluminum so initially this will make a bond and you see aluminum has a hydrogen uh, this this molecule has a hydrogen so this hydride can shift to this carbon and that's the same thing so let us try i have aluminum and there are two valence and one you have o so this is o ch3 ch3 and then you have a hydrogen so this is the molecule now if this lone pair attacks on this oxygen i will get a complex so what complex you are getting so let us write double bond o and there is a plus charge aluminum now i will have o then you have ch ch3 ch3 you will get this first product so you are attacking and you are getting a complex complex contains positive charge on oxygen and aluminum will of course have a negative charge because one attached two more bond is there so aluminum will have a negative charge so you are getting a complex with aluminum negative charge now the second step so is the you have to transfer a hydride to this so what you can do is you can shift this hydride here to this oxygen and once you are shifting now this will have a uh, five bond so i have to remove and oxygen also have a positive charge so what i can do is i can remove and i can put in out oxygen now once this goes on oxygen i have to remove this aluminum bond 
so what is happening now this can go here so this goes on aluminium and sorry this so first let us translate here and then we will do in the next step so that things becomes very complicated so if i write what is happening now we have a oxygen here and i have a hydrogen here and this oxygen is attached to aluminium and this aluminium has two bond and one och3 aluminium has a carbon and one oxygen and this oxygen is basically attached now with carbon so there is a carbon one more carbon so there is a carbon and this carbon is attached to ch3 and now this carbon will have a positive charge because i have removed this one so what i can do is to make this i can remove this here so i will release a ch3 co group so if i move this bond here now in that case this co bond is here now co so this molecule is gone and this is also gone so i will have so let me write here ch3 co ch3 once again let us try to understand what i am doing this hydride goes here this double bond goes on to oxygen and once this goes on to oxygen carbon has a positive charge to remove this positive charge i have to break this aluminum oxygen bond it comes here once it comes here ch3 ch3 c double bond o is released ch3 co ch3 is here now this aluminum is attached with this compound containing two bonds aluminum two bonds are here so let me write finally so i have a product something like this this contains hydrogen oxygen aluminum and two bonds are here and then i have one more product ch3 co ch3 that is acetone now if i do hydrolysis of this compound if i treat with h3o plus hydrolysis with this compound oxygen will attach with plus h plus and this will be finally i can have so i can or i can this h hydrolysis h2o and h plus i can say h2o can attack here this goes here and it will take plus so finally i will have h oh plus al this double bond and oh now if you do the same process three times i will have aloh whole thrice because every time this bond so this bond will remove in the next step in the next step this bond will be removed so i will have aloh whole thrice that is the final product because this side also have the same thing whatever we have this side because three things are identical if you see the first you see here this aluminum has a group this side this group this side also has the same group this side also have the same group if i have done the first step what we have done in the first step i have removed this group and i have put one oh if i do the same thing three times finally i will get three oh oloh whole thrice this means i will get one product aloh whole thrice now two three things are important in this reaction in the first step aluminum is acting as a lewis acid and carbonyl oxygen is acting as a lewis base or you can say nucleophile aluminum is acting as a electrophile while oxygen is acting as a nucleophile so aluminum is acting as a lewis acid in this reaction now second point that is important that is there is a complex that is formed between aluminum and uh electrophilic aluminum or nucleophilic oxygen and so this means there is a complex that is formed in this reaction third important point i can say there is a hydride shift so there is a hydride shift and that is the most important point and this resemble with caninjaro reaction this is the part that resembles with caninjaro reaction this is similar to caninjaro reaction so hydride shift is very similar to now in this case you can see there are three hydrogens so each tri isopropoxide can reduce three ketone so each aluminum tri isopropoxide molecule is capable of reducing three ketone molecule so you can write this one each aluminum each aluminum tri isopropoxide
will reduce three ketone. So let me write simply. So this will reduce three ketone. So this you have to remember. Now the reaction is called Mirvan Pondravalli reaction. There is no point to remember the name. Simply this you have to remember in this reaction also there is a hydride shape, something like Kanenjaro reaction. Now uh, so using this aluminium triisopropoxide you can convert a ketone to alcohol. So this is a basically reduction reaction in which al uh, ketone is converted into alcohol. So this is a reduction of ketone. There are many reagents that can convert ketone to alcohol. NABH4, LILH4, hydrogen can also act as a reducing agent. Now this will act as a mild reducing agent because the aluminium groups is very uh, sterically hindered. So in this case aluminium is a sterically hindered. So this trios, aluminium triisopropoxide is basically a mild reducing agent. So this is a, you can remember, this is because of a steric reason. So this is a mild reducing agent, I can say. This is a mild reducing agent. Aluminium triisopropoxide is a mild reducing agent. You have to remember this one. So if you want to re only reduce the ketone group, and then there is a double bond also, if you want to don't does not want to reduce carbon carbon double bond you can use this reagent okay we'll discuss the next problem